who is <laughs> the mysterious man William Baker? The mysterious man who's normally my new man in the press. Sure. Well, He's you have in fact a very him old, husband. old gay husband of mine. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, Willie started as a bloke I met in a Vivian Westwood store. Didn't he just come and accost you in a shop? He did. And um, for whatever reason, we went and had coffee. This is 15 years ago. Yeah. This is not Kylie encouraging you to come up and accost <laughs> in a shop, by the way. Anyone who's getting ideas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless I am looking a little peaky, blood sugar low. Sure. I'd really do with a little coffee and a cake. You sure. I could have started something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, to make a Double very long... Double security on Miss Minogue. <laughs> to make a very long story short, he was um, styling or, or getting into styling at that time. So styled a few photo shoots for me. And we just ended up doing more and more and more and more together. Mm. He does most of my photographs these days. The album cover singles yeah. the calendar still styling for for concerts but he actually does the overall mm. he's my creative director yeah and a best friend so sure. we definitely do spend a lot of time together so that's why he was the obvious choice to make this film yes well he just <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> it was not my idea to make a film i wouldn't dream of doing that so now i think i'm far away, far enough away f from it i can joke that he got me at a weak point and indulged his directorial debut. So this me. wasn't a film that was going to be made anyway, it was only going to be made because Will wanted to make it? Well we normally do, with a concert you have, the, we film one of the shows for the DVD, plus mm. there's an extra of wacky stuff behind the scenes. Yeah. We, I love seeing behind the scenes, sure. so I can understand the interest, but it seems somehow too dismissive to do a 20 minute behind the scenes like that on this tour because everyone's emotions were running high yeah and uh and i think he maybe it might have been slightly therapeutic for him as well to capture those moments yeah and i would never let a camera in my dressing room normally but ma baker comes in with the camera he hardly knows how to operate and there's endless 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 hours of footage and to reduce that into two hours tell the story of that time must have been mm. difficult um so uh, obviously we've got dvds we've got um we've got your own film and uh, any plans for a new one a tour a new tour <laughs> does that make you twitch it makes me twitch it makes me excited it makes me nervous it makes me understand why I do all the other things I do. So, mm, I would love to tour. I would love to tour. But it must be knackered. It's right? just such. It's. I've been talking about touring a lot recently, and um, that's all fine and great. But when my manager does sit down with me with the schedule, mm. I suddenly have tumbleweeds, sure. and I just say you know I make an excuse I have to go and do anything sure. except look at that and make a decision but I think we'll we'll try and work on a schedule that looks manageable gives you a bit more time off a little more time off um, do you think you do you think you maybe let back on stage a little bit too soon before was it uh, I mean I guess maybe mm. it was something you had to do yeah I can't to get I out there can't and do ever it, say it was too soon it was difficult but for my state of mind psychologically it was really important sure. to to do that and i had extra drive so now i'm trying to make a decision on on touring just as i always do yeah sure and, and, and trying to be really about that, that yeah. let, let's hope so anyway